My name is Susan Swanson. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about my experience with telemedicine. I was diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer about six years ago. Um, I had been in early stage one two years prior. Um, I get most of my care in the Northeast and I'm fortunate enough to have a doctor who wanted to move to telemedicine and was able to facilitate that in the midst of COVID. I had see, talked to my doctor a few weeks prior. I actually was scheduled to go in to see her at the hospital and had called to ask if I could do something from home or if I should be coming in. Um, for many of us cancer patients, I think the decision right now is what are you more afraid of, COVID or cancer? Um, right now I'm more afraid of COVID and I'm trying to self-isolate not see people and a hospital seemed like a risky place to be. Um, originally I had been scheduled to see my doctor. She did call me the morning of my appointment and say, don't come. I'm just not that convinced it's safe. Um, and we had a phone conversation. We scheduled an appointment for three weeks later and about five days before that appointment, her assistant called me to say that it would be a telemedicine call. They sent me instructions to download an app called, I believe it's Blue Jeans. If different doctors are using different situations and different plans for it. Um, I downloaded the app. It was very simple. It had to be done on a mobile device. That was the one challenge. Uh, it couldn't be done on our computer or was less preferable to do it that way. Um, so I did download it. I ended up using my iPad for the appointment. And when my appointment time came on, I signed on and my oncologist was right in front of me. Um, we had about a 20 minute call um, and it did feel just like a regular appointment from afar, but we covered everything short of taking my blood pressure and my weight that we would have done in a regular visit. Um, I was had a few questions about some things that were going on with me and I had a spot on my arm that was a little concerning. I ended up literally taking off my sleeve of my shirt and showing it to her. I was able to do that through the whole app. Um, she did a, like kind of a little visual mini exam where I put my hands up to the screen so she could make sure there was no swelling and some things like that. Um, I found the call really beneficial. It was so great not to have to sit in the waiting room and worry about who was there and also not have to wait. I didn't have to drive in. There was no commute. Um, I do see that there's a huge advantage sometimes to being face-to-face, -face, but especially in the metastatic community or someone who has routine care with their oncologist, I don't think it's necessary to have to go every visit. Um, and to be able to do it from the privacy of your own home, literally schedule out a half hour of your day for a doctor's appointment and leave, it's perfect. Um, we were able to discuss actually a change in plan and treatment plan. Um, at the time she was looking at other options, literally on another screen while she was talking to me. Uh, and at the end of the call, we decided we would make a change to my treatment. And she was able to put that through right while we were speaking. Um, it was, I thought it was a great, great call. Um, I am hoping that it continues my advice would be to be prepared. It goes very quickly um, and you can't really catch them as they walk out the door with another question. Once the call's over, they're gone. So you need to come. I actually had a list of questions written down just to make sure that I had everything covered. And I also was able to ask her about next steps because I think that's so important because you're not walking out and there's a receptionist there to ask. So you need to leave that appointment with a game plan, what your next steps will be, how you set up another appointment, um, and how you will visit them, whether it's in office or telemedicine. And I think in the short term, everything is telemedicine. So if you can book that or at least find out how you do that when you leave the appointment, it's really valuable. Um, I think going forward, I'm hopeful that this will become routine. I think it's probably the one positive out of COVID is that insurance companies are paying for visits. And I did know that when I set mine up that it would be an insured paid benefit that it wouldn't be fighting with the insurance company to pay the oncologist. Um, 
I do think hopefully going forward, we're able to supplement that in with regular appointments. I think for the doctor, it's great. It's a very well-managed time limit on their calls. For a patient, I think it's invaluable that they're able to come and go, not spend an entire day for a doctor's appointment. They literally spend 25 minutes, a half hour, whatever it is, and you're done. You can go on with your day, you're safe, you're in your home, um, there's no chance of getting it, picking up anything. Uh, I, I just think it's, I think it's a great step forward in oncology and I hope to see it continue.